Hey guys, how's it going? So we're continuing our paper. We are, it's, a, it's on consumer arithmetic, the same question. Previously, we covered the question on discount and we also covered a question on, on a bank statement, okay? And uh, if you didn't watch that, I advise you to go and watch that. Consumer arithmetic questions, they're quite easy because uh, the concept is quite um, you know intuitive. It's something that you can imagine. So here we are continuing on with, uh, with our questions and uh, right now we're doing simple and compound interest, okay? Uh, simple interest, that's what you want to run away from in life, okay? Simple interest is simply uh, whatever you're having there and then it's calculated as a, as a percentage um, uh, for, for you to get um, a corresponding percentage after some time, okay? So they calculate a corresponding percentage, they give you, it's just simple interest, they tell you like maybe it's 4% or something. Uh, compound interest, it's uh, it's different. Compound interest, it means if you leave your money in the bank, the money that you got as a, as a compounding interest for, for this month would be different than the one for next month. If you have more money, you get more uh, compound, okay? So it's, it's a compound interest. Um, it's, it's a, Einstein says it's the eighth wonder of the, of the universe, okay? So that's what you want to lean on to. You see in the formulas as well, uh, what I'm talking about to reflect, okay? So calculate Omega's uh, interest under option A at the end of three years, okay? So option, uh, yeah, you're, you're told that uh, somebody try, uh, invests a pension at of 600, okay? So pension of 600. And um, uh, she can invest in it in a bank that offers 4% for, for simple interest, okay? So they, they decide to, uh, they have a pension, and then they decide to, uh, let's say, go with option A. They want to uh, get 4% simple interest per year, okay? So the, the simple interest from um, primary school would be principal times rate times time over 100%, right? So the principal would be 600 times the rate would be 4%, times the time would be, um, for case, three years, divided by 100%, like this. Okay, so we actually do 600. The percentage is, remember, they'll cancel. So you just have 600 multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3 is equal to, divided by, by 100. Okay, so you have 72. Okay, so this is under option A. Uh, this person would get 72. So let me actually write it here. This person would get $72 under option A. Okay, and uh, we used a, a very old formula. You know, we used a simple interest, principal times rate times time over 100%. That's uh, what, what we had. Okay, and then the time is in uh, years. The principal is in dollars, and then the our rate it's always given in as a percentage. Okay, that's why we put divided by hundred percent there. For compound interest, it's uh, it's different. Okay, so for, com for compound interest, it means that it's compounding. It means that um, we we do we are not um, here for the first year for compound interest. We'd have to copy calculate it separately, and then keep it. And then for the next year, we have to calculate it again separately, and then keep it. And then for the next year, we are going to calculate it uh, separately again and then calculate it. So for, for uh, compound interest, what we do is uh, we have to calculate uh, separately. Okay, so for compound interest on option B, the cumulative, cumulative amount. Okay, so the cumulative amount for compound interest, it's equal to you take the principal first, the principal that's uh, the money that uh, the person is investing times 100% plus the the interest rate, okay? So times the compound interest here, okay? Then you're supposed to say to the power n, where n is yes, okay? So this is how you'd, uh, you'd go about it. This is how you do it, okay? And make sure that you put the percentage uh, percentage as well. This one, it's uh, it says a percentage, okay? So here you'd um, you'd be getting 
uh, for uh, the principal be just six hundred dollars and then multiply it by hundred percent plus four percent here to the power n which for our case is three years okay so you'd actually get six hundred multiply by one hundred four percent okay to the power n please 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 you have to put the the percentage if you don't want to put the percentage here you have to say 104 over 100 you can actually write it as i uh, go to 600 um multiply by 104 here over 100 okay then you say to the part part three here for n please 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 don't uh just punch 104 here you have to say 104 if you say 104 percent then your calculator would know okay so you do be 600 times so it'd be the way that I'm punching it 600 then open bracket 104 then I'm putting percent I actually have to look for the percent here yeah. so you put you can put uh, 600 then you say times then write that as a, as a fraction in brackets so it'd be 104 divided by 100 okay then you say close bracket then you say to the power to the power three so i'm getting 670 five here okay so after getting this this is not your your uh your your compound interest okay your compound interest you'd actually have to say uh so compound cumulative compound interest okay so you can actually write this one here cumulative compound interest so your cumulative compound interest would be equal to you'd say uh the money that you got so the money that you got for uh case would be this this one it's, it's actually got uh, some sense in it let me actually write it uh, the sense as well so it's 675 uh 92 then minus 600 here so you'd actually get uh 75 92 like this okay so uh here your your value would be 75.92 so here you can say zero zero so here there is this one was tricky but then i what i would advise you is to actually commit this formula to memory so you we say cumulative amount so cumulative amount means you want to know exactly what you'll be having after three years under this compound interest um um uh, gig okay this compound interest investment so it'd be principal then you say 100% plus the compound interest here as a percentage. Then you close bracket to the power n. And then remember at the end, you actually have to change this percentage to, to your fraction. It's always easier that way. And then you say to the power the number of years that you'll be uh, cum accumulating them, the interest, the compound interest. So this for this case, it's it's um it's three. So that's how we got uh, 75.92. Okay, so... Let me just wipe this off. And now you try to calculate the difference um, of between the amounts from the from the two options. So difference. This one is simple now. You go to you can say you can put arrows here. Let me say 7592 minus 7200. So you'd actually get uh, 92 here this one is three so three dollars three dollars 92 so your difference is three dollars 92 so which which one would you rather go with you would uh, go with the the uh, case of of um compound of compound interest okay it's always better that way so that's it for this question uh i hope you understood it so uh, for option A, it's simply principal times rate times time. That's how you got the you get get the simple interest. 
for the compound interest that's why that's why we we said we have to be creative so you have to calculate the cumulative amount first or the amount and uh, in one step okay so the cumulative amount is equal to the principal then 100 percent plus the, the interest okay then i'll close bracket to the power number of years and after that remember to change your your uh, percentage where you sum the sum of your percentage remember to change that to uh, your fraction and then you can uh, say to the power the number of years in this case it was it was three years okay so this was a very interesting question i hope you uh, got so much value from it if you haven't subscribed yet i advise you to um i'll catch you in the next video yuba out cheers